Hey everybody, welcome back. I got I got two more in me, maybe? I got one to two more in me. Did I not click on arena? Apparently not. Um, listen, I say this a lot. There will be a lot of videos of this weekly. Pardon me, I had I just had a Coke Zero. In fact, I still have some. I may have uh, some small burps. I, saying is Super Auto Pets Gamer, guy who knows um, that they just added a new word, a jar. A jar hands? These are my a jar hands when my wife needs some tomato sauce opened up anyway. Am I right? Fellow people who, out of their two, out of the two people that, out of the two or more people that make, out of the people that live in their households, <laughs> Has the strongest grip strength, am I right or am I right? And when you're right, you're right. I think we want this and we might as well take that. I was like, first I was like, okay. I was gonna say, am I right fellow guys? And then I thought, hey, that's not fair. There's a lot of strong women out there who are married to weak guys. It's kind of a, it's maybe not the most common archetype, but it's not an uncommon archetype to have like a Zarya Paired with like a Soldier 76 or something like that. No disrespect, Soldier 76 heads out there, of course. Let me get a tropical fish. Am I gonna am I gonna go sell crazy? I don't know. I gotta think about it. But then I was like, wait a minute. So first off, it, it don't say am I right, fellow men. Then secondly, I was gonna say, Am I right, fellow people who are the strongest in their couple? And then I was like, in the modern day. A, a committed relationship or a, a temporary like living situation could be more than two people. So I was going to say two or more, but then I was like, what about people who just love themselves? And then I was like, strongest grip strength in your household. <laughs> Entering Lizzie Overdrive. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. It's making the rounds. Um, I think I am. Uh, freeze me. Freeze me. Roll me. Sell me, sell me, purchase me. I don't really want to buff the silk moth. I do kind of, I mean, you're kind of the garlic stud if we're being honest here, but it is what it is. I, I would rather go four squatted. I know this is a little, a little insane. I think I would rather go four squatted with the squad we have. We really want to extend the life of our potential garlic. Now, admittedly, the tropical fish is buffing nada right now. Uh, units that we don't necessarily expect to live, but wins right now count the same as, as wins will later, so... We're using the tropical fish to buff itself, I guess. Well, no, we're, we're buying a peach. It's not buffing itself at all, unless it was buying the peaches for us. Which it's not. As many people are saying, okay, then, dude, this is A-OK -okay right now. I think. I know, okay. So what the heck are we doing? We'd love to see a leveled tropical fish early that can make a difference. We are going to go a little sicko mode on the, the double garlic press. I think this is the right time for it. Uh, I would gladly add a tar to the ecosystem. I think it, like, this is the way to go. Although there's a part of me, maybe I think this is the way to go. You with the chili pepper is kind of a, a great setup for us. And if the pug is going to be what levels, then so be it. Right now, I'm actually feeling pretty good, honestly. Sorry, you may have seen me burp, but I muted my microphone, so you didn't have to hear it. And I got to tell you, it was no, no disrespect. It was mighty satisfying to get it out there. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of burping as when other people do it, so I understand not wanting to hear it. All I'm going to say is it feels incredible to do it. I don't think anybody would dispute that. Look at how powerful garlic is this week, okay? You know what else is powerful? Uh, it being a Friday, and apparently everybody has pivoted off of the, the guinea fowl build for some reason. I don't know, maybe there's some. everyone's looking for emu saber tooth now. I wouldn't be upset to see it. So give me give me some double garlic again. Right now it ain't broke, so right now we don't fix it. Now I'll be honest, the duck has kind of is served out his term. I think now, as bad as this looks, we could try something like this. Yeah, maybe we want to buff a skunk. Let me think about that. Let me pop that into the old cerebrum. 
I'm very sorry to do this to the skunk. I do think... Of course you show up now. Thanks for nothing, bro. I was holding the pill for 30 years. And honestly, a, a skunk would have gone crazy against this team. We may still be doing okay. We're not doing okay. But a, a skunk would have would have blown you out. But I did I wanted my level. Because if we could get like a moose to turn early. Hyena is just like it's just not what we're looking for. I don't think Silver Fox is what we're looking for either. I mean I, I think hyena kind of blows out our whole team, unfortunately. I'm trying to figure out what I what the heck I want to do here. I want to do that, I guess. I do feel like this is the start of something bad. <laughs> Two garlic is still... It might do more for us than I expected. It might not. That is a strong dog. And you got a hedgehog and a guinea fowl. You got the whole squad laughing as well. Yeah, I don't think we're making it out of this one alive. It wasn't horrible, but there's work to be done for sure. Okay. Now, use your brain. Do I want my level? Probably. And if we want our level, we probably want it on the tar, honestly. Now, what tier 6 are you going to give me? Hi, Tomo. Hi, buddy. I mean, I think Tiger has, like, more usefulness. And you would... Pro Tiger tar would give, like, your whole squad support. But you're kind of... We're kind of adrift here. We only have two HP left. I think we're probably going to lose this round. I think we're toast, honestly. The only thing that might save us is if we get like an, an Emu Sabertooth sort of sort of setup, which I, I don't necessarily see. Oh, by one again, man, please. I don't necessarily see as likely. Hi, Tomo. Hello, my Tomo buddy. I know this is crazy to not have an Emu at the back. But, uh, I mean, what do you want me to say, man? I, I think that, in hindsight, I know we just had the option to take one as well. But, in hindsight, you know what I think would have gone crazy? This is bad. <laughs> I think. My whole squad's dead. Yeah, that's pretty bad. In hindsight, you know what would have gone crazy? Hyena. I know that's probably the obvious answer. But, a hyena plus... Um, when you consider the fact that Chili Pepper would have probably like one-tapped everything it came across, that might have been the way. Maybe like a evil fungi, like from The Last of Us. Am I right, fellow gamers? I'm loath to admit it, but that last run may well have been the worst run we had this week. Even though we got four wins. A level... Even though we got uh, four wins, they all came because of the lemur. Like, we did not really do anything out of the, out of the ordinary on that one. <laughs> it was like being born rich. I don't think we deserve any credit for it. Let's put it that way. Now, this one, on the other hand, I think we deserve a lot of credit for this one. I think we deserve a lot of credit for the way this one's starting. It's going to be a pretty nice guinea fowl. No garlic, admittedly. And a lack of garlic is, uh, is very unfortunate. But it doesn't matter, apparently. So we, the, the early game is set up for us. It, it's our oyster. Much like the world is our oyster, we have a level incoming. I would sell me, buy me. And we're, we're really just rolling for peaches at this point. And we got one. Oh, baby. Every time I look around, every time I look around. It's really hard for me to buy broccoli. I'm gonna, it sounds crazy, I'm gonna give the lemur broccoli just cause we could give it more attack by buying the next lemur next turn. I don't think we want it on the guinea fowl. I know the guinea fowl having more HP is very important, however... It also, every extra attack when it only has like one or two attack is so disproportionately meaningful that I don't think we can, we can bail on it. Now give me, this is an emu killer for now. We'll roll dolphin instead. 
greater upshot in the future. Now we got a good through line on, on garlic here. Now see, let, let, oh, I was gonna say, let's see the difference here, but then I realized they also have, uh, they got garlic, but they also have two attack. Wait a minute, wait a minute, we're fighting back? We're not fighting back enough, bro. 26, 26, dog, oh. oh. <laughs> the broccoli would have hit the spot, maybe. Ah, we like it, we like it. We, we like it still. I would even freeze these two laddies right here. What we'd love to see, though, is a, is a naturally leveled guinea fowl so we could get rid of our pug. Now, they got their own flea. You have to respect it. I wish I didn't have to respect it, but you do. That might be enough. In fact, I think it will definitely be enough to, to torch us. Smart play. Smart play with the flea. Huge! Okay, forget the skewer for now. It depends how much you're scared. You know what you could do? Switch off the garlic, go to radio. Sell me, sorry Falcon, buy the alpaca, then you buy a flea and it's almost gonna level, and then it levels. <gasps> Next turn, that's okay, that's, that's still good, it's still good. The, the, having an alpaca and a squad that's actually like solid like this, I think we should be very happy, although uh, clearly I'm not the first person to get the memo about like how good the flea is this week. But I, a draw here, it, that might be the, the stall we need to get to 10. I'm gonna go a little crazy here. I was kind of hoping for a moose. I don't think this, I know you're gonna be like, you said that last time, but I don't think the... The hyena's the play this time. I think we just take anything. And then we want a skunk to get the experience from the alpaca, which is why we didn't buy it early. They've weakened me as well. Bro, bro, what the heck? Are you kidding me? <laughs> We're gonna make it, but it's like, it's the indignity of it. Why, they, they won't let my guinea fowl be a guinea fowl. It's shameful. Okay, you're gone. Huge. Blowfish, tropical fish, porcupine, hoopo bird flea. Sell me, buy me. No, I mean we, we're not batting too well on the on the anglerfish lately. Should have just gone with the clam instead. Can you blame me? Maybe you can. We buy you to sell you next to. Oh, baby! <laughs> That's a big skunk and a big flea. So this is weird, because like I don't think we have, I don't know what our wind condition is. Like we don't have like one super scaled unit. I guess our wind condition is just like making the other teams mad at us. Could be worse. So I think the way you do it is you play it like this. Like two level two skunks is pretty good. Ah, this is the way. Okay, so. Next turn, we're gonna combine skunks. That's pretty good too, I think. Next turn, we're gonna combine skunks, buy a saber tooth, level it up, hopefully replace the alpaca after that with whatever the leveled up saber tooth gives us. Oh, but if we could just get an emu as well and then maybe get a potato on it, we could have a, a pseudo meta build that would make me feel like a genius. So you're gonna buy me? You're gonna level me. I don't really want any of this without scaling. I think you've kind of, you've served your purpose for now. I would roll. We want to, we really want to give ourselves a chance of getting an emu. Scaling foods maybe are fine too. No emu, maybe we could throw a tomato onto the squad. I don't know, we're still, we're working on it, okay? We haven't got it fully figured out yet, but we're working on it. They also have a level two saber tooth. I don't believe it, we made it, okay. Maybe, maybe I do believe it. Maybe that's sandbagging. Give me some of this. Give me some of this. Maybe the flea will, will help us to make the tomato that much more effective. Give me some of this. I don't know, man. Maybe this these tomatoes are enough to get us over the line. Son of a gun, huh? Son of a gun. 
got a big saber tooth there, bro. It is. It's a large saber tooth, but it's not as large as the saber tooth that I have, plus the dog that I have backing me up. Now we could take this. Obviously, you're gone at some point, so we probably should just take this. You only need to sell it when you need to sell it. Now, I'm not big on the tiger this week, although a tiger working alongside a skunk is mighty tempting. We're going to leave you there for a second because we don't have to commit yet. I'm giving you a pita just in case. We don't have to commit to selling the oyster yet. We could just let it simmer. Holy cow, it's, just, it's the strongest team I've ever seen. No, it isn't! <laughs> that was demonstrably incorrect. Roll me. Okay, now I would take this opportunity. Basically, we get a level two skunk out there. We get another saber tooth. I mean, I'm feeling pretty, pretty good about this setup. And we did use a guinea fowl, but we didn't just mindlessly use guinea fowl garlic. Like, I know it sounds crazy. Oh, this is a... No, it's a genius maneuver. We're gonna roll you, bro. Holy cow. You know what the, the real star of the show was, was this level three flea. And we got time to run one more back quick. Give me this. Give me this. You know, <laughs> give me this. This gives us a, a, a much better chance to draw round one. We don't need our ducks early. We'll be like uh, folded pants. Me four days after the dryer is finally done. Yeah, so sue me, okay? I leave my, unless somebody else needs the washer, I tend to leave my dried clean clothes in the washer. Sorry, in the dryer, in the dryer. You cannot leave your clean clothes in the washer. You'll never recover from that. Okay, this is insanity. They will be smelling very bad, let's put it that way. But if the duckling gambit works, imagine how big a lemur or a porcupine could come out. Or a guinea fowl, or even, I don't know, even a tropical fish maybe? Just wait for it. Wait for it. I'm stupid. Why am I not leveling you? Pangolin? No, man. No! Okay, we're probably going to lose this round again. Uh, it is what it is. We're, we're, we're going to try... I, I still think at this point... I'm not happy to admit it, but I feel like our best possible outcome is still going to be driven by levels, Okay. Now, the lemur is mighty tempting. And we really should take it just to give ourselves, like, a, a, a chance here. I'm really hoping to see a level next turn. I don't know what tier 4 we would sell two ducklings into, but you know as well as I do, it could, it could completely change our lives. We're going to be on 2 HP. Clearly, that's not where you want to be here. No level, huh? Garlic me? A level. A blowfish? Roll me. Sell me. That takes us to four. That takes us to six. Little pineapple on the blowfish? No, no, no. I understand the, the problem with that. <laughs> you pop down here for now. The garlic is going to serve us better than the pineapple, probably. Okay. We will probably not get to 10 on this one. I think that's a fair thing to say. But we should at least get to one. <laughs> Maybe. It's a huge get right there. You know what? No, no, no. We wait for next round. That's how confident I am that we got the sauce now. I'm going to buy this for you. No, because, yeah, I'm going to buy this for you even though it's going to get overridden. Because we'll want you to have it at some point. And then to be honest, you're leveling anyway, right? I thought about taking a tropical fish, but it don't really make any sense, man. Okay, this is a scuff to run, okay? This is what you need after a 10-piece to remind yourself that you're still mortal. This is my memento mori. He's crazy. Okay, one win. We will not be freaking sucked this year. Exactly what we needed. 
Freeze tier ones. Oh. <laughs> Freeze tier ones. You know what? I want to bump a possible... Horrible buffs, by the way. But I want to buff a possible emu up one and screw up entire squads. That's my main goal. Just like it's my main goal to blow up and act like I ain't know nobody. Huge! Okay. We're so back. Nah. Nah, man. I'm not a broccoli pill. Vitamin K cell, okay? So freeze tier ones. Hello? Hello? Freeze tier ones. Have you lost your mind? This is it. Now we have a tier three blowfish. The blowfish needs the buff, Moose. The blowfish needs the bus or the buff. Just like the medium is the dang message, Marshall McLuhan. Huge hit with the blowfish, though. Okay. We've, we've pulled together mediocre respectability. Let's get to real respectability. Freeze me. Roll me. Sell. Buy. Sell. The moose is, is critical. The skunk is critical. Freeze me. Potato, not necessary with this squad, I would say. This, very necessary, and you can't freeze anything. Buff the blowfish, brother. Are you taking crazy pills? Do you have a problem with me? Have I done something to offend you? I don't understand what it what it could possibly be that would have you treating me like this, quite frankly. That's a tough one, because I think we might... Eh, maybe we die regardless on that one. But I'm not totally surprised to be on lethal, given how horrendous our start was. Okay, insane build hours. Buff the blowfish. Is this... Have, have I done something in a past life? Oh! The eggplant plus blowfish combo. It, it, it ruined this whole game. Okay. Screwed up his emu and his saber tooth. We take those. Freeze tier ones, please. Uh, you're gone. No. You're... I gotta think about this. Yeah, yeah, you're gone. Here... And then I know a saber tooth is good. Everybody knows a saber tooth is good, okay? But another moose is also potentially very important because we could use a couple. Holy cow! All of a sudden we got some new blood in town, and the and the moose is like, okay, I'm getting on my A game again. Five wins. Admit it. You didn't think it was possible. Now we'd love to see a level three skunk. We're actually close. <laughs> yes. An orange, also tempting, but at this point, every tier one is probably worth more. Now let's just relax. Come on. Okay, that's a royal flush in this household. Why don't you take one of those? Blowfish. One, two, 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 two blowfish buffs. Not upset. Not upset. Now they got their own emu team here but it's not it didn't it didn't look like it had the gusto just my two cents no disrespect meant of course we get up to six you're starting to think the same thing that i'm thinking is this really happening take some potatoes would would love to have gone back in time just like the song says i wish that i knew what i know now when i was younger now, we, we should probably combine our, our mooses pretty soon. Our misen. Because we don't really get much benefit out of having two of them when units are so close to maxing. But you know what? We, we shouldn't, actually. We're not quite there yet. Okay, that's important. Hi, Tomo. What's wrong, buddy? Is anything wrong or are you just having a good time? Ain't nothing wrong with having a good time in this house, brother. As long as you're in bed by 9.30. Huge. Now, we're about to face a, a difficult situation. And we're going to win this one. But the difficult situation is, do you get rid of your pug now that you're probably going to have a level 3 skunk? It happened so fast. <laughs> um... 
I, I will say, I think we should combine with the eggplant on the bottom. You have a saber tooth. I think it, it we didn't get it. I, I shouldn't hit skip though. That costs us uh, some potential buffs. Maybe an orca, I guess. We'll, we'll throw an orca out there. We actually want the orca to steal some buffs because everybody else is so close to being at the max. They got their own orca. It's an, a very tanky orca that has a fortune cookie. We did no damage to it in advance. It's pretty unfortunate. I mean, it's, it, it looks like it's going to be all up to you, brother. And he got it done! <laughs> Holy. Tier 1s, please. Tier 1s, please. Flee. You know what? I know this sounds crazy. It might be crazy. I don't know. We're, this is probably super lethal. Because you, you very rarely draw this late in the game. There's too much delta between the teams, but... I'm, I'm weakening... I overrode, like, two incredibly important pieces of equipment, but I'm still torched. No, yes, okay, fair enough. But, dude, we clawed our way back up from Oblivion to nine. I'm feeling great. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I'll see you next time. See ya!